Hi there, here is Kakako with a new turtle program for you. This time it's a more functional one for building a mob farm. The program is, yeah, let's say very powerful, especially early in the game, as you can use it on plain turtles, as you see here. There are no tools attached to this turtle. This means you don't have to put diamonds on this build. And with a few stacks of building material you can build your own mob farm. The turtle will set up the complete farm, including torches, sets up the water streams and even if you want to uh, put on some ladders to the roof of the mob farm. In this video I will show you how to use the program and we will have a time lapse for building two mob farms in parallel. The one will be a standard cobble version and the other one uses more fancy blocks and also some of the options that are included in the program. Okay, so here we've got the already prepared turtle for the fancy mob farm and here we built it everything from the scratch. I prepared this work table for this. First we need a computer and then we build our turtle. We set the turtle here and first thing I usually do label set is to name the turtle and often I use just the ID of the turtle. Then we have to refuel it, refuel all. We need at least 4200 uh, energy units here and then we can paste bin get the turtle program paste bin get the id is unpphdpq and the name of the program is build mob farm okay now it's ready and we execute the program build mob farm. Um, the info screens are split up on four pages. Uh, the important one is the first. All you have to know about the standard basic mob farm is here. All everything, uh, the, the rest is optional. Okay, with this turtle we will build the standard uh, mob farm, so we follow just these instructions and it says slot number 1 to 11 cobble, each a full stack. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Number twelve and thirteen, a water bucket. And number sixteen, um, twenty-six torches. And that's it. And then we can start this program. Uh, oh, okay, we can start the program, but we need also to place a chest behind the turtle with 10 stacks of cobble. So I exit the turtle here and put in here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 stacks of cobble and that's it. Um, I skip number 2 and number 3. It says if you don't have enough of one block type you may use also any other full stack of opaque blocks as replacement. This means uh, not not glass or something like this. And you can exchange those stacks, full stacks, uh, in the turtle or also in the chest. And uh, by doing this you may find out one or two of the hidden decorative um, options. Okay, so this is the preparation for the first turtle. And now we have a look here to our second turtle. I already set it up, so I have only to build a mob farm. Uh, here you see I've added additional material. Let's have a look on page 2 of the description. We have three separate options. We have option A, explosion protection. Uh, we can replace this first block here with 60 obsidian. This will then give you at the lower part of the drop shaft and yeah, a more ex 
explosion resistant uh, material. Uh, so if you have some some troubles with um, uh, creepers, for example, then option B. That's something useful. I did it here. This here, I took sizzled quartz block, and in slot 15, 28 ladders. Then the total will build you a ladder to the roof. And here we've got option number C. Uh, I also uh, activated this. Uh, if you want to have a creeper face on the roof, uh, then you can replace the cobble or, or the building material you're using in slot number 10 for the mouth of the creeper and slot number 11 for the eyes. Uh, Ichi black wool. I use here a block of smoky quartz. Uh, we need here 50, uh, 54 blocks in slot number 10 and 32 blocks in slot number 11. And also a quick look, oh, getting dark. Also a quick look here in the chest. I prepared here 11 blocks, stacks of quartz. Yeah, then this is everything we had to do for the preparation. Then yeah, lean back and enjoy the time lapse.
Okay. Now we've got our oh, our two spawners, the basic one and here the more fancy one, including a ladder. And the turtle also returns the remaining building material in the chest. Uh, well, you won't get so much as this here. Uh, maybe you've seen it during the time lapse. I, I yeah, played too much with this turtle, uh, so I, I brought the program a bit. Uh, I confused it a bit, uh, so I had to replace some of the blocks. Uh, so, well, you shouldn't uh, mess it up, mess like this with your your turtle during the building. And also here we've got remaining materials. Uh, maybe we have a look in this one. How it looks inside. It's, it's lit up here to prevent spawning at the bottom. And we've got here four spawning areas, 8x8. Eight eight. And here we've got lots of bats. And the mobs drop in here in the water stream, fall down and get damage. Uh, in earlier versions of Minecraft it was easy to set up a drop shaft but all mobs will have here at the bottom just one uh, half a half a heart so you can hit it with an empty hand and they die. Uh, that's now not any longer the case because zombies uh, wear some armors or spiders have effects of uh, uh, enchanting bottles so uh, it's not so easy to set up the ideal heights of this thing. Uh, currently, uh, if you build in two more rows, then every mob should survive the drop and then you can use it as an XP grinder. If you dig the hole even deeper, uh, then you can make sure uh, that every... Yeah, but, but you will need some, some more layers. Uh, maybe you can experiment with this uh, so that every mob dies and then you can just collect the, the mob drop items. Um, let's have a look in here and uh, increase the level by 2 so that most mobs will survive. And I think I also put in here a fence. Fence, fence, fence. Uh, this way you can be safe again against um, zombie babies. Okay, then let's switch on the mob spawning. And after a few seconds, no, not not you, bad. <laughs> and after a few seconds, uh, we should see the first mobs dropping down. I hope. Okay, here, dong dong, two spiders. Spiders ch sometimes uh, jump and then they, they die. Uh, also, the creeper died. Okay, this survived now. Uh, when a mob before dropping down uh, jumps, then it, it gets some additional damage. But uh, all of them that are not jumping uh, should survive the drop. And then you can kill them with a single hit. Uh, maybe you can experiment with this uh, level whether you want them to stay alive uh, more certainly or not. Um, well, that's up to, up to you. How, how you want to use this mob farm as a simple item grinder or also for, for XP grinding. Okay, then I think this was the introduction of this program. Uh, I hope you find it useful and, well, I think now getting experience in an early stage of the game uh, is probably a bit easier and you can use this, as I said, even without uh, the use of a diamond. Okay, then, thank you for watching. Please hit the like button if you liked the video and I would also like if you subscribe to my channel. And this way you stay informed about new programs and videos. We finish with a, of course, thanks for watching and a bye-bye and a flight over 
my well the testing area for this uh, program there was quite a lot of bug fixing and so on okay see you soon bye bye